My name is uh, Ted Montgomery. Uh, my business is Camp Creek Coffee Roasters and we're located in Libby, Montana. I've been roasting coffee for three years uh, with uh, Coffee Crafters uh, Roaster. Uh, it was really important for me here in Libby, being such a small community, not to be competition. You know, we wanted to give something back to the community. We didn't want to take away from anybody. So we thought, how can we do that with coffee? In our shop, we strictly give away coffee for free. When you come in, you have a free cup. It's always got some going. Um, I don't want to be competition for the coffee shops in town. My idea is if I can get a couple of those coffee shops to work with me, if I can produce a quality, fresh product for the community, I win. So I just try to reach out here to my local community. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm trying to get rich by making coffee by any means, but I just want to have a comfortable life here in Libby and produce something that people can appreciate. As far as my packaging, I try to keep everything within that, that camping theme, you know, like if you can make them relate to your product on a personal level, uh, and at least try it, you know, you're going to be way more successful. Anybody can relate to camping by a creek, you know, everybody has coffee in their camping. It's just one of the things that you do. And I think that sticking with those themes, our Tanzanian Trail, our Montana Skies, you know, some of those things, uh, the outdoorsiness is just, it's more fitting for our product and our name. So up until about a month and a half ago, I had worked a full-time job uh, the whole time that we did uh, Camp Creek, and it's been pretty successful. The community has been very supportive, and um, you know it's been a really great thing. So now I'm in the position where I don't have enough time to be down here roasting coffee all the time, and I don't want to be here till three in the morning like I have been just all the time burning the candle. So. We had to make the decision just to go ahead and go full time with the coffee and uh, just make it the, my main goal to get that going and um, concentrate on marketing and advertising more. Um, you know, I'm sad to say that the first three years that I did this, I probably only made 10 cold calls. You know, I just didn't have time. The business grew so fast on its own, just grassroots movement, you know, people wanted to support it. And again, People like fresh vegetables, they like fresh fruit, and they like fresh meat. Why would they not want fresh coffee? Uh, having just that, people want it. So I didn't have to do a whole lot before the business just sustained itself, you know, and the walk-ins pay my bills, you know. And so now it came to a point where it's like, okay, to go to the next level, you got to start investing time and go out and start selling it and doing it. and. I know it'll happen. I've had a lot of people say, yeah, we'll take you on. They said they'd take me on before, but I knew I don't have time to do that until I go full time. So my, net, my goal is this next year to really concentrate on sales and start uh, picking up more accounts now that I have time to be here and invest in it. Um, and I don't have any, any hesitation that it will just succeed and grow leaps and bounds. Um, even in the last month since I've not been working, I've already seen huge growth in our numbers and what we're doing, so just by adding a little bit of attention to what we're already doing, so. I think it's really important that uh, with these, art uh, my Artisan Six and all the coffee crafter roasters is that um, it's clean, clean air, you know, you're not, you're not using any gases, you're not, it's safe, you know, you, you can run a dryer, you can run this, this piece of equipment. Um, it's really simple and, you know, in a time when people are so conscious about what we put in our bodies and not knowing how the food is handled that we put in our bodies, to, to see a product like the, the Artisan 6, the Artisan 9, the 3E, any, any of the Coffee Crafters products, it's amazing to see that something can, we can do it so nicely and it's, it's built so well in simplistic, it's easy, it's not a hard piece of equipment to wrap your mind around and create such a clean pro quality product. Um, that's one thing that I really found was awesome about the coffee crafters. And Ken told me right in the beginning, he said, Ted, you're gonna roast coffee, you're gonna roast your first 10 batches and someone's gonna tell you that's the best coffee they've ever had. You're gonna give it to a family member and they're gonna say, wow, that's great. And he said, it's because it's fresh and they've never had fresh coffee. 
and I have so many people on a regular basis come in here and drink my coffee and say, wow, I don't even have to put sugar in that. I like, I, that sounds, that's so good. And I always tell them, I say, you know, it's clean coffee. It's fresh, you know, and when you get it that way, there's a difference and you can definitely taste it. So that, that's probably one of the biggest positives about coffee crafters machines that I enjoy, you know, and it was, it was that simple. You know, first 10 batches, someone said, best coffee I ever had, you know, so I know it wasn't anything I did special, and it's gotten better, I hope, but, you know, so really, really amazing equipment, and if anybody was ever on the fence about buying a coffee roaster or what they want, starting a business, Canon Coffee Crafters, hands down, is the guy you'd want to talk to. He'd definitely uh, walk you through the whole process, and lots of, um, lots of resources, and any, anything you need, they're more than happy to help. Thank you.